So I'd like to congratulate you. You now know everything you need to know to build the basics of a course and sell it with Lifter LMS. So I just want to celebrate how far you've come and how quickly you've learned the fundamentals and how easy it is to create a course. Now let's look at how to test it. So I'm going to go into the back here and I'm going to get a coupon code. So I'm going to go to orders coupons. I'm going to create a coupon code. Just free for me. And that's going to be a percentage discount, any access plan, 100%. And I'm going to limit this to one use in case somebody else tries to use it later or whatever. So I'm publishing my coupon code. And this is really the best way to test. So if we go to the front end of our website, we want to kind of click around on everything, you know, you know, mark lessons as complete, play the videos, um, check out the student dashboard, and, you know, take our quiz that we have on this lesson, which we did in a previous lesson. Previous lesson. Uh, we want to check out the e-commerce functionality. So one thing you can do is up here on the black bar here, the WordPress bar, you can view at this page as a visitor. And you'll notice I can no longer click on the links over here because I'm uh, not enrolled in the course. And you know, there's these pop-ups. I can no longer just click in and go look at any lesson. I would have to buy this course to be able to get inside. So that's one way to test just by using the different um, links up here to view as yourself, as a student, or as a website visitor. Because in a learning management system, the website changes and is, you know, it's dynamic. Um, so the best way to test though is to actually open up a new browser and I'll do a uh, incognito window. So I'm just going to take my link here, file, new incognito window. And so this is a view of the website, totally logged out. Notice how the sign in link is here instead of sign out. Like I'm not logged in, I can't get into anything. I can't get into these lessons. It's telling me I have to buy the course if I want to get inside. So we're really testing this as an actual website visitor. And let's say we're going to pay the one-time payment of ten or one or one thousand dollars. And in this case, um, we can put in a credit card and do an actual transaction. But for demonstration, I'm just going to use the coupon code that I just created, free for me. Click apply. And you can see how that took the price from $1,000 to free. And I'm just going to put in a fake email address. And put in a um, strong password here. And put in my name. and check out. So I'm enrolled. So this is what a, a real student would experience on your website. And I'm going to click the get started button here and see what happens. And it looks like it's dropping me into that first lesson. So I can, you know, watch my video, make sure my lesson is good. Then I will mark that lesson as complete. And now I'm on the second lesson. We're gonna go through a bunch of and I can take the quiz here. So we'll just take that quiz real quick. What is the best learning management system in the world? Of course, that's Lifter LMS. Complete that quiz. And it uh, looks like we passed, got that correct. And you can see my progress is being tracked here as I complete the course. So I'm gonna go to the next lesson, and now we're on the next video lesson. And if we go to the student dashboard, you can see I've got this course here, um, the Zoom Mastery course on my student dashboard. I can come back to the website anytime, pick up where I left off, go to my dashboard. If I have multiple courses, um, there it's all available right here. So I definitely recommend doing a quick test like that uh, after you finish. So you kind of give everything a first run 
before you launch it to the public. But again, congratulations. You've learned the fundamentals of Lifter LMS and you've learned how to test your website and you're really ready to go live. I've got something exciting for you in the next video.